Great to see you, Fabrizio. Thanks ever so much for your time. Um, I guess there's only one place to start. Harry Kane, he's the talk of the Premier League at the moment. He wasn't involved in the matchday squad at the weekend. Now that that game with Manchester City is out the way, do you expect this deal to be accelerated? What's the latest? What do you know? Yes, the feeling, the feeling is that Manchester City are not giving up on Harry Kane. They are absolutely not giving up on this deal. They want to try again, from what I'm told. They're preparing a new bid for 150 million euro to try again for Harry Kane. But on Tottenham side, they still say they don't want to sell the striker. So I think we are in a poker game now with Daniel Levy on Tottenham side and Manchester City pushing and pushing again, ready to try with the new bid for Harry Kane. Let's see what happens this week. But for sure, Manchester City are not giving up. They try again. Harry wants to play Champions League football, and that's why. They want to push on this deal again. Tottenham at the moment are still in the same position. So it's a good poker game, but I think this week we'll have the final. Fabrizio, um, let's talk about incomings at Tottenham. We know the fans are desperate for them to make signings. You tweeted last night suggesting that Fabio Paratici is working hard on bringing in new players to North London. Who are they? Yes, Fabio Paratici, first of all, works always like this because he's used to work on many different players for the same position. So uh, for Tottenham fans, they have to get used to this kind of work for, on Fabio Paratici. Now he's going to another centre-back. He wants another centre-back for Tottenham and we will see if it will be Milenkovic for Fiore from Fiorentina. Also, West Ham are interested in him or a different player, but he could be one of the candidates, one of the options as centre-back for Tottenham. They are also looking for a midfielder. They have some contact with Cagliari for Knight and Nandez, uh, Uruguay midfielder. Interesting player Inter wanted him before signing Denzel Dumfries from PSV Eindhoven and also for a backup striker if Harry Kane will stay of course because they are looking for this kind of solution or a replacement of course if Harry Kane will leave the club. Keep an eye on Dujan Vlaovic, striker of Fiorentina because Atletico Madrid want him but they have no agreement with Fiorentina or with the player. Tottenham are still keen on him but Fiorentina want around 70 million euros so it won't be easy few names to keep an eye on there. Let's talk about a player that everyone knows about in the Premier League who's making the move over to Roma, Tammy Abraham. Are you expecting that deal to go through today? Yes, yes, yes. Everything is being completed, as you, as you said, also during the weekend with Tammy in, uh, in, in Rome together with the director of Roma, Thiago Pinto. They completed everything. So Chelsea are going to receive 40 million euro for Tammy Abraham and also 5 million euro as add-ons for the player. And they will have a buyback clause for 80 million euro valid from June 2023. So everything has been agreed between the two clubs. Also, the player has already signed his contract for five years as new Roma player. So everything is done. It's just a matter of how was to see the official announcement about Tammy Abraham will play for Rome. The other side of London now, you've tweeted about Arsenal in the last couple of hours, suggesting that there's one player on the verge of agreeing a new deal and the club are in talks to sign a midfielder. Can you just bring us up to speed with what's happening at Arsenal? Yes, because everything has been agreed uh, on Granit Xhaka's side. Uh, they have an agreement, a new contract of Granit Xhaka for the next four years, since 2025. So everything has been completed with the midfielder. who was really, really close to join Roma the last weeks. He wanted Italy move uh, to join Roma and Jose Mourinho pushing to have him. Then they had no agreement with Arsenal. Uh, Granit Xhaka was tempted by staying. He accepted a new contract and so everything has been agreed in the last hours and Jaka will be staying at Arsenal as captain also in the last match for, for the Gunners and talking about the number 10 they are still looking in this position and keep an eye on Martin Hodgkart because he had a good goal spell at Arsenal last season now he has the opportunity to come back because Real Madrid are prepared to sell uh, in case Arsenal take an important bid they are preparing this bid and so Martin Hodgkart is the priority for Arsenal as number 10. One story that's caught our eye over the course of the weekend, Edin Dzeko, the former Manchester City striker, scored for Inter Milan, um, but they hadn't actually announced it. Can you tell us what happened there? Yes, they had an agreement in place with, uh, with Roma since they, everything was done. So Dzeko was in Milan, I think, we were three days ready to sign a contract for Minter. But what happened? That They had no agreement between Dzeko and Roma on the last month of his salary, on July. So they were discussing between Dzeko and Roma uh, for paying this kind of month of salary before announcing the deal with Inter. And so Roma authorized the player to play his first friendly match as Inter player, but it was not yet a done deal. This is incredible, as you said, because Ed Dzeko was also scoring, but then uh, one hour after the match, everything was completed. So no problem between Inter and Dzeko and Roma, but it was absolutely incredible.
And finally, Fabrizio, we, we ask you every single week about what we should be keeping an eye on, which players potentially could be moving where, who's heading to the Premier League. So we'll put you on the spot again. What should we be watching out for over the next few days? What's going to happen? We'll keep an eye again on Chelsea because after signing Romero Lukaku, they are looking for a centre back and Ju Hunter from Sevilla is still a target. So I think that this week they will decide on this deal if they want to go through the final agreement with Sevilla or not. So Hunter is one of the biggest possibilities. And here in Italy, I think that Juventus will leave the deal for Manuel Locatelli. He was an Arsenal target, but they are no longer interested because he's going to Juventus and that thing will be completed this week.